Hello, and welcome to Intro to Canvas for Faculty. In this course, we'll be focusing mainly on Canvas as a teaching platform. But this course is also great for anyone who just wants to know what Canvas can do. The best browsers to use with Canvas are Firefox, Chrome, or Safari. Today, I am using Chrome. As a note, your browser is always the first thing you should check if you are experiencing any trouble. Temporarily switching browsers often solves many minor technical issues. Please read the browser information located in the syllabus and in the Getting Started module for further details. Right now we're on the course homepage and I'm going to take you on a quick tour of our classroom to help get you started. Please note that I have pre-opened the pages I will be showing you in order to speed our demonstration along. You can choose to navigate the course using the icons on the home page or the menu buttons on the vertical toolbar. Both methods will take you to the same places. Running vertically down the middle left of the page is the course navigation toolbar. These tools will take you to places inside our course. We will not be using or learning about every tool on the toolbar, but I've left them all accessible to you so you can investigate them if you want to. Running vertically down the far left of the page is the global navigation menu. These icons will take you to places outside of our course, like your calendar and your courses list. Be sure to watch the user interface video in the Getting Started module to learn how to use the global navigation tools in Canvas. Before starting on the course content, please be sure to look for your practice course on your courses list. You'll need your practice course for completing many of your assignments. I'm going to right-click the course link and choose to open it in a new tab. This is a handy trick for flipping between our course content and your personal building space. Now I just need to click on the new tab to view it. Depending on your settings, this is what your practice course will look like when you open it for the first time. Now let's return to our Canvas classroom by clicking on the tab for Intro to Canvas. To get started in the class, please view the orientation video, then read the syllabus. The syllabus contains everything you need to know about the class. I will also be posting course announcements, so please be sure to check those too. Please also remember to ask questions. You can ask general questions here on the Ask a Question discussion board. If you're wondering about something, you can bet someone else probably is too. I try to answer these questions within 24 hours, but please feel free to reply to your classmates sooner if you know the answer they need. To contact me directly, you can message me through your Canvas inbox. You can also send me a quick message by clicking on the Help icon and then on the option for Ask Your Instructor a Question. From the home page, you can click on any icon to go to the specific module. The content modules are labeled with numbers, and as you hover over each icon, the module title will display. The icons will direct you to the first page of the module you want to view. Alternatively, using the Modules button will take you to a full list of all the modules. When you are ready to start on the first module, please go to the Home page or the Modules page and click on Module 00, Getting Started. You will find all of our course content on the Modules page. You can shrink or expand the content in each module by clicking on the arrow next to the module title. The modules are set to open sequentially as you complete them. You must complete and submit any required assignments before the next module will open to you. You will get a check mark on each module as you complete it, and that's how you can tell that you are finished with it. You do not need to wait for your work to be graded in order to move on to the next module. Each module has completion prerequisites. Here you can see that you must complete the Getting Started module before Module 1 will open and become available. Let's go to the Getting Started module now. The information in the Start module is critical to your success in this course, so it is set so that you must view every page in order. The Getting Started module is the only module that requires you to do this. 
Here you can see the viewed page check mark you'll receive after viewing each page. You will also receive check marks after submitting your assignments. Now I'd like to point out a potential content display problem that you may encounter. I've already opened a tab for a problematic page. If any content or pages in this course do not display for you, please click on the light gray shield icon in the URL address bar. The shield is on the left side in Firefox and on the right side in Chrome. If the shield icon does not appear, please click on the white page title link instead. The display problem is caused by a browser security setting and is not a Canvas issue. You can find more detailed information about this issue in the syllabus and also in the Getting Started module. Lastly, I'd like to point out a study tool that is embedded in our course. Let's go back to the Getting Started module to look at it. At the end of each content section, you will find an optional study activity for the review of keywords. To use the Quizlet flashcards, simply click the card to view the word and read the definition. Then click the arrows to advance to the next card. To change your study mode, click on the study mode menu and select any of the other study activities. Okay, that should be enough to get you started. I look forward to meeting all of you very soon. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great class.